The battle to retake Port Patterson is about to begin. Our scattered forces have come together for this battle. They're few in number, but we've managed to assemble a small ground force. However, the Laysath fleet continues to gather in Port Patterson, and the presence of the Transportation Corps has also been confirmed. Having lost Puna Base, it appears Laysath now intends to shuttle in troops and supplies overseas. If any more ships dock at Port Patterson, enemy strength will become more than our ground troops can handle. In order to prevent this, we need you to launch a preliminary strike on Port Patterson. Destroy all enemy supply vessels, landing ships, and freighters. In particular, try to keep as many enemy landing ships from entering the port as possible. Battle supplies must not reach the enemy. The number of enemy landing ships inside the port will be displayed on the MPG in the upper right-hand corner of your HUD. If the MPG reaches the max level, our forces will no longer be able to retake Fort Patterson. This time, a substantial enemy counterattack is to be expected. It seems the loss of Puna Base has put them on guard. Please be careful. Griffith 1, altitude restrictions cancelled. Return to your mission. Good luck. Clutch to Griffith 1. Check your MPG on the right side of the HUD. The MPG will display the number of landing ships from the port. Please pay careful attention to the MPG during this mission. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've succeeded in destroying the enemy fleet gathered in Port Patterson. Our ground troops scored a major victory by using the chaos caused by our attack to storm in and secure the port. We freed Port Patterson from the hands of the enemy. It's still kind of hard to believe.